welcome guys to this video this is automation gizmo channel this is channel for learning psc programming so in this video we're going to be learning um s7 communication c send c and team receive c okay i'm going to be using plc sim advanced to simulate physical plc's so i created two instances of the plc the first instance the plc is 192.168.0.10 the second plc is 192.168.0.15 so plc sim advanced will enable you to simulate s7 communication and also other communication protocols okay so this is my first plc 0 0.10 and this is my second plc 0 0.15 so another thing is i'll add up the networks and link these two plcs together okay and then i'm going to create a data block in plc1 call it my data okay let me test data and um it should be arrays array zero to ten of real Mm -hmm. Int data it's going to be under the array 0 to 10 of 8. My last is going to be bool bool data 0 to 10 of bools. Okay, and I'll remove optimize block access. compile and so for these the two blocks the two um data blocks which are the sources have to be identical in both plc's so i can just do a copy and paste of this what we've created and add up to the other I'll create a new data block in plc2 we'll call it let's just call it variables for plc2 Okay, and I can just paste this. this. Seems they both have to be identical. And also, I remove optimize block access and compile. Okay, so they are both identical. So this is PLC2, and this is PLC1. So with this, I can compile. Okay, and also go to main. and pick the block s7 or das open no open user communication and since and c now unlike put and get which is other s7 communication protocol that is unidirectional C send C and C receive C is bi-directional. So, so it and you must configure it into the two PLCs. So if I'm configuring C send here, I'm also going to configure C receive in the second PLC. So for this PLC, we are coming we are configuring C send right and then and the other PLC we're going to configure T receive. So in this, I'm just going to use a clock. So it works on the rising edge. So I'm going to use one second as a clock. And then also I've created some internal block parameters, done error status. I can just put it here, done. Error. Status. And then I'll add busy. 
bool okay so here will be busy busy so as well i always like to have my status on the rising edge of error so i'm going to move status to mw400 so anytime i have an error it's going to move the current value of status into this memory forward so i'm going to hold the value of status in this maca word mw400 so now to do the configuration proper um this blue icon here cement has made it easy and this can just launch the configuration um um page so if i click on start configuration now it's asking for the part now okay if the two plc's you want to communicate are in different projects you just choose unspecified but since in this program in this project they are both in the same project in this example they're in the same project ps1 and in the same project so i could just click ps2 yes and then you see it pops out the ip addresses okay uh, the next thing is um configuration mode what configuration mode are we using and what connection data are we using so i want to create a new connection data first yeah yes so it creates a new connection data for me and then also i want to know which of my plc's is active this is active and this is active so i want to make plc1 active since it has the t send block so i make plc1 active now another thing you want to notice is that for um the address details the port and partner port is 2000 since this is active if i make this active local port gets 2000 so you need to know which is active and which is not so it can be 2000 it can be 2001 or 2002 so i'm, I'm making this active so a partner port you have to put your partner port here which is can be 2000 or 2001 or 2002 so another thing is i want to create another say a new um connection also for connection data for plc2 so with this we've configured the data for for tcent and then it's asking for the data so where is the data source where is the data i want to transfer from ps1 to ps2 this is data so i can just drag drag and drop this is my data for ps1 so i can compile and download Okay. So we head over to PLC2 and, and configure C receive. Okay. So T receive C. So for this. So once you can do is if you press F1, it's going to it's going to show you the details of of this. It's going to show you what they are all about, how um it works, and all. So these are the parameters of to receive your inner continue length, add up connect, 
better address so this so you can place f1 and then you can get details on on each block so so i want to use a rising a a marker word in pay point zero for connect and then for connect and data okay so i also want to create some internal um memory data for this done busy error status and just put them here done busy error status okay then i also want to click on i also want to click on this to do the configuration and then also you see you see also you see that we have to do configuration here so which PLC am I communicating with PLC1 and then it brings up all the information okay also I want to create connection data PLC2 say it's already here and then connection data is already PLC1 so the data I created for has connection data source for both PLC1 it's already here and then what PLC2 is already here so you can also choose to create a new one if you want to now what is active PLC1 is active from 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 here from here made ps one active okay so also here ps one is active so it's already selected ps one is active so and but now local port now becomes 2000 for ps two which was also configured in the first plc so with this um the next thing we want to do is where are we storing this data we want to store it in db1 yes db1 variables now receive length you don't need to put any value here so this is going to to um the data length of what you are sending from from here so what you are sending from here is going to show it here the length of data is receiving. So I'll compile, download hardware, load then i also download software finish so for ps1 i'll download hardware Okay, so now I'll monitor. So I have no error, I have no nothing. And then saying 7004. So I'll send some data from here. Okay. I'm going to put some of that two by three, six by three, zero point zero eight, and if for integer, I also put some data ten, twenty five, seven eight nine, and for bulls, I also 
change some states, toggle some beats. So now, so I have this, and then I'll head off to the block in PLC two, and then I'll also go online to monitor if there are any, any errors. Okay, I'll toggle this to be true, modify to true, and then yeah, so yeah, it's busy. It's busy, so it means it's receiving some information, and then I'll monitor its own data block. Let's see if I'm getting the data. So yes, I'm getting the real data. I'm getting the integer data, and then the bool data. So, so with this, I'm able to transfer data from using C and C from one PLC to the other PLC using T receive. So this is T receive. Notice that um, E and R has to, it's not on the rising edge. It just has to be on a, it has to be on a permanent, um, it's not permanent, but as long as you want to receive data, you just have to put um it has to be true so, unlike um c and c that has to be on a rising edge so thank you very much guys for watching this video so please don't forget to like share and subscribe